So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Chef Junie's TV. Today we are in the kitchen once again where I bring you simple and easy recipes for you to try in the comfort of your own home. Today's not really a recipe video. Well, I mean it kind of is a recipe video, but I'm actually just cooking dinner for the family tonight. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to cook. But we're going to get into this video. Um, tonight I'm making salmon, uh, I'm making mashed potatoes, and I'm making green beans. And uh, I'm actually going to give you all a little surprise. I'm going to show you guys how I make my Cajun spice. So we're going to get into this video and I'm going to show you guys how I do everything and we're going to get to it, all right? Peace. All right, now I know earlier I said Cajun seasoning, but what I'm actually making is my all-purpose seasoning. Um, you can use this on anything. You can use it on chicken, you can use it on fish, beef, whatever. Um, so I got about a uh, salt in there. Um, we're going to go with two ounces of chili powder, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. So basically two parts salt, two parts paprika, and one part everything else, all right? Parsley flakes. I like to grind my herbs up. All my dry herbs, I like to grind them up fine. So over here I got basil, I got some sweet basil, I got some thyme, I got some oregano, I got some rosemary, you know, just some nice fresh dry herbs to uh, bring everything to light. And we're just gonna mix all this together. There you have it, everybody. Chef Junie's all-purpose spice. That's how you do it. It's simple. It's easy. Uh, I don't keep anything a secret. I don't keep my recipes a secret. Anybody can do this. It's not rocket science. Just put some flavors together and create something spectacular. All right, so now that we got that out the way, we're going to work on the salmon. Um, the reason why I bought this salmon, yeah, as you can see, it still has the skin on there. Um, they already deboned it, so that's a good thing. But the reason why I like to buy the salmon whole and uh, with the skin on is because it's cheaper. So this whole piece of salmon right here was um, $7 a pound. With it already filleted and deboned and skinned and cut up into pieces, it was about uh, $14 a pound. So almost double the price. Um, so when you want to skin it, I like to make a little flap like that. Turn my knife around. And then just let my knife do all the work. So you're gonna go ahead and kind of tilt your knife down at about a 45 degree angle and go ahead and remove the skin like that. And as you go, just hold on to that skin and keep your knife pointed down at a 45 degree angle. And boom, straight through like that. Skin all the way off, no meat on the skin. That's how you do that. Now you just want to portion it to the size you want it. All right, about a good portion right there for the kids. All right, boom. That's gonna be for me. It's for the kids. Kids ain't gonna eat that much. All right, now you want to take a towel, paper towel, and pat them dry. Throw a little bit of oil on there so the seasoning can have something to stick to. And you just want to, like I said. That Chef Junior all purpose spice right there. Season these bad boys up. Not a lot of salt in here, so you go very generous with the seasoning or as light as you want to go. More oil. Let 
And we're just gonna put that to the side for now, all right? Now for my potatoes, I like to use the red bliss potatoes. I already cleaned these potatoes. Um, basically what you wanna do is just cut them down to size so they're all pretty much the same size so everything cooks evenly. So we're just gonna cut these up into quarters. You know, for the big ones, cut them up into six pieces. We just basically want them all the same size. That way they all cook evenly. All right, now I have to be perfect because these are gonna get mashed up. Last one. All right, so the general rule of thumb for potatoes is you want to start the water cold with a lot of salt. The water should taste like the ocean. Any starchy type of items like pastas or potatoes, anything like that, you want to add a lot of salt um, because the salt is going to go into the potatoes, but not too much, all right? So we're going to start our water on cold and we're just going to add our potatoes to it. All right, now that we got our cast iron skillet up to that smoke point, we want this very hot because we're just gonna leave this on there real quick. Uh, we just wanna get that crust, that nice brown crust on these uh, salmons, and then we're gonna finish them in the oven, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and throw these on there real quick. These thinner pieces, um, they're not gonna be on there too long. We got about two tablespoons of oil on the actual griddle. But like I said, we're not gonna leave them on there too long. We're just looking for a nice crust on those sandwiches. Maybe about a minute on each side. So that I See how that's nice and beautiful? Yeah, that looks beautiful. Now we're just gonna take this and transfer it into our sheet pan and throw it in the oven for about 15, maybe 15 minutes, all right? Look at that, don't that look beautiful? It's not even done yet. All right, now that our potatoes is pretty much finished, uh, that's how you check and see if your potatoes finished. Once a fork or a knife can go through it smoothly, then they're done. So these are pretty much done. We're gonna add our green beans to the water. Let those cook, maybe about five to eight minutes. Then we're gonna drain off our potatoes. Back to the pot, we're going to add a whole stick of butter to the pot, half a cup of heavy cream, some black pepper, a little bit of salt, and we're going to mash it up with our potato masher. Everything nice and incorporated. We'll give it a taste. The perfect creamy, buttery, silky, smooth, delicious. All right, now that the potatoes done, we're gonna check on our salmon. Yeah, yeah, salmon is nice and cooked. 
that there for now. Green beans are nice and ready. Now we're just gonna plate everything up. All right, so there you have it, everybody. A quick little dinner I threw together. Family of five, eat on a budget, 20 bucks. You got your salmon, you got your mashed potatoes, you got your green beans. Like I said, the kids are already gonna eat that, so, you know, that's for us adults. All right, like I said, so this costs about $25 to make. You guys can go ahead and try this in your home. Go to your local grocery store, pick up the salmon, potatoes, and green beans, follow this recipe. Um, and if you made it this far to this video, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and let me know if you guys tried out this recipe, all right? And leave me a comment, let me know if you guys wanna try any more recipes. Peace.